Today there is a demand for energy unlike ever before. The use of solar, wind and hydropower has allowed us to start moving away from our reliance on fossil fuels, however those alone do not meet our ever-expanding global energy demand. Renewable and sustainable biomass residues from plant and vegetable wastes are another source which is currently underutilised but could make a significant impact. Worldwide, there are many abundant and sustainable biomass residues, including those from crop and animal farming and wood residues from forestry, construction and timber processing. Many of these residues are regarded as waste that require disposal. However, the disposal methods are often unsustainable. As an example, fields of rice and wheat are often burnt after harvest, resulting in severe smoke pollution. Instead, these residues could be used to supply electricity for many regional businesses and communities. For over a decade now, an Australian team have been dedicated to developing technology that can generate energy from these sustainable residues in a safe, clean, reliable and economic way, as they believe biomass has a vital role to play in not only Australia's clean energy future, but the world's. This team is known as Rainbow Bee Eater. Rainbow Bee Eater has developed a technology called ECHO2 that converts the solar energy stored within the biomass residues into a different form of energy that is used for generating electricity, heating and refrigeration. Biochar and a clean source of CO2 for glasshouse atmospheres are valuable byproducts. Finland currently leads the world with 25% of the nation's electricity generated from biomass. Germany then follows up with 7%, however generous government incentives were an important factor in achieving these levels. At present, only 1% of Australia's electricity is generated from biomass, yet estimates show that in the future it could be as high as 30% through the use of sustainable biomass residues. ECHO2 converts biomass into a clean, low-cost fuel gas called syngas, which is easily converted into heating, cooling or electricity. In 2016, a commercial scale model that has been designed, manufactured and tested in Australia, known as ECHO2, became fully operational and is now being demonstrated to potential customers. ECHO2 is a unique electricity generating technology that is designed to be located near the communities it serves. There are several significant advantages to ECHO2. First off, commercial operation of ECHO2 will be economic without the need for government incentives. Financially, it will stand on its own feet, eliminating reliance on the ongoing taxpayer support that has sometimes been necessary with other new technologies. ECHO2 is clean, safe, quiet and highly automated, a showpiece to be proud of in every way. It can be supervised from a mobile phone and it can run a few hours each day or 24-7. ECHO2 is based in a simple and robust process that works like this. Chopped biomass is transported into the biomass processor, the heart of the system, and continuously converted into a very clean syngas by one slow moving component. Many biomass conversion technologies require additional expensive processes to clean the syngas before it can be used to fuel engines or boilers. An important point of difference for ECHO2 is that it does the complete conversion to clean syngas in one simple process. In addition to the syngas, biochar is also produced as a valuable byproduct. The syngas is produced as required by the demand for electricity, heating or cooling, on demand. Electricity generated by wind and solar technologies need the wind to blow or the sun to shine, relying on support from other systems. This is not the case with ECHO2, as biomass is already a battery of stored solar energy. This allows ECHO2 to generate electricity, heating or cooling whenever it is required. The electricity generated by ECHO2 is synchronous, which assists the whole electricity network to maintain a stable frequency. ECHO2 does not require high value biomass such as wood chips in order to operate. It can process lower value residues such as cereal straw, forestry residues and food processing wastes. If seasonal crops are used as the main fuel source, this system can still operate in the off season by either storing fuel or by switching to an alternative non-seasonal biomass fuel supply. An additional benefit of ECHO2 is that it is extremely carbon negative. Over 90% of the energy in the biomass residues is converted to syngas, a renewable fuel that replaces non-renewable fuels such as coal and natural gas, into high-quality biochar. The biochar locks up atmospheric CO2 as a stable form of carbon for hundreds of thousands of years and is a highly effective form of carbon capture and storage. The result is a net reduction of CO2 in the atmosphere. Operation of ECHO2 in a business or community results in new employment opportunities. 
Unlike the seasonal jobs required in most agricultural sectors, many of these jobs will be needed permanently throughout the year. The jobs include biomass collection, preparation and logistics, monitoring and maintenance of ECHO2, delivering and processing of the biochar, and handling the additional production and sales that result from the lower energy costs of ECHO2. ECHO2 is something you should consider if you are using a few hundred kilowatts of energy on a regular basis and have access to a sustainable, low-cost source of clean biomass. In conclusion, ECHO2 is an Australian-made system that uses waste biomass to produce low-cost renewable energy and biochar on demand. ECHO2 is designed to bring significant benefits to local industries, communities and the environment.